The St. Lawrence River, aka Thousand Islands, New York, in recent years has become very famous from the huge bags of smallmouth caught during the Bassmaster Elite Series, where 100 pound bags are caught every year. This is my first time fishing this scenic fishery. Cannot figure out how to catch them in just a week. What's cranking, y'all? I'm Korean Bassin. We're out here on the St. Lawrence River, New York. This week we did a lot of fishing. We got a really good fish. The bite was really slow, but I didn't get a lot of footage this week because of how bad the wind was, so I'm sorry for y'all for that. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this video, but I'll figure it out. It was still a good time. We caught a bunch of fish. Hope y'all enjoy. Here's the catches. Day one started pretty slow. We were just idling around looking for spots, trying to get to know what we're fishing. We noticed immediately how windy it was, so I picked up the Rapala BX Brat and I started throwing that around. It wasn't working too well. So I picked up the Senko, threw that around a little bit, got a whole lot of nothing on that. And then I picked up the Drop Shot. I was using the Berkeley Max Ant Worm. And when I first got a pack, I thought they were going to be overrated, overhyped, because everyone uses them up here. But man, was I wrong. The Berkeley Max Sense, that did most of the work while we were up here. I was almost like 80% of the time when I was throwing the drop shot, I was throwing the Berkeley Max Sense flatworm in a variety of colors. I mean, it didn't matter what color I was throwing, but it's just something about that scent and just something about the way that worm looks that they were just going straight nuts over it. The small mouth, the large mouth. And you'll see later in this clip here, I caught a pike too. But overall, day one came off to kind of a slow start, but we ended up catching a couple. I caught my first ever New York smallmouth. It was pretty good. I got one. Smallmouth. Come on, man. It's drop shot. Nice one. Oh, dad. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hold on. Oh, don't you do that, buddy. Don't go back there. They fight so hard. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank you. You ate that up. I know. He... Did you do anything special? No, he hit it on the fall. Thank you, buddy. No, one of many. We couldn't buy another bite off that one flat, except for that one small mouth. So we went up to this island and I spotted this rock and it was positioned perfectly so when the wind was hitting it, there was a slack pool behind it. So I casted my Senko straight in that slack pool and this happened. That slack pool right there would be a good place to throw your Senko. Guess I'll do it then. Perch. Oh, Dad. I don't know, but it's nice. Something. Yeah. Oh, Dad. Net, net, net. The Sanko. Yes, he's pulling drag. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Hey. Weigh him. 302. Nice. Nice bass, yeah. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> there we go. I just threw it out there and I let it fall on slack line. He ate it on the fall. Yep. Small mouth, I think. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna need that. Oh! It's 
pike. pike. Yeah. On the drop shot. On the worm. It's northern pike. Let's go. Thank you. This will be fun. Oh, here we go. Oh. There we go. Oh, it's another pike. Yeah, smaller one. Uh, nah. Figured this would catch a pike. That's all we got for day one. It ended up being a pretty good first day. I caught that small mouth, that nice large mouth, those two pike. And honestly, I'm not even gonna try to remember what my dad caught because I really don't know. Anyways, on to day two. Day two is when everything started getting washed out from how bad the wind was. And that morning I managed to pick off one small mouth from this one flat we drifted. And then after that, it just completely turned off for a while till about lunchtime. We drifted another flat that had a lot more vegetation on it instead of sand. And I managed to pick up on a pretty decent crankbait bite. We didn't catch anything big and didn't really pick up again till the evening when the winds calmed down. Drop shot. No. Just fought hard. In this clip, you can really start to see how washed out the bay was from the mud getting blown into the bay from the river. I think I might have a fish. It's, it's pulling back. I think it might be a fish. No, Dad, that's a fish. Yeah. yeah. Large mount. Oh, I got him. Football. That's a nice one. Finally found the crank bite I've been looking for. So fat. Like I said, there was no afternoon bite at all. Like it just completely turned off. But as soon as those long shadows started coming out and the wind started to die down, the bite started to pick back up again. Here we go. Yeah. Net. Call for the net already? Yeah, it's, I think it might be a nice one. Jump? I don't know. It's a large mouth. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh it's taking me down there. There you go. Thank you. Two or three. Yep. That's that one you saw at that. Probably. Oh yeah, and this one totally surprised me because I thought it was a pike at first because of the way he was fighting and how he hit it. I mean he hit it so hard he straight hammered it like a pike would. Here we go. Got one. Pike. I think. Pulling drag pretty nice. That's a bass? Oh my goodness! That's a nice largemouth on the wacky rig. <laughs> I jinxed it taking it off. That's what happened. You want to do that pizza when we get back? We do. Hold right. oh, on, let's hit this troll up here. There we go. Yep. Net. I think it's a small mouth. It's fighting nice. Pretty sure. 
There it is, it's nice, Dad. There we go. That's a good one. Two, four. Day three was a super tough day. I only caught two. Everything was super washed out from the nasty storms the night before. They even dropped a couple tornadoes across the river. And there was some mean lightning, but it just made the bite the next day super tough. But I did get on a couple, which is better than getting skunked. Got one. I got him. That's a nice one. Yep. That was fast. Yep. They got that. I'm not sure. I knew this this big old swim bait would get bit though. It's a nice large mouth. Look at that. Two sixty. Alright. Nice. Thanks, man. On day four, I took a break from filming and just decided to go fishing. And of course, it had to be the day where I caught five nice smallmouth bass and a pike. But that's okay, let's move on to day five. Day five was a pretty good day. Me and my dad both caught a bunch of pike. And in the evening, I got on a really sick topwater bite with the Booyah Boss Popper. By this time, we kind of had them dial in. We talked to some other guys that were fishing there. And they all said all the big smallmouth were out deep. And we tried that for a while and we just couldn't get on them. So we just kind of settled on a largemouth and pike for the rest of the trip. Got you that time. See how high he jumped? I thought he jumped. Believe it or not, while I was up there, I threw a spoon for the first time ever. Like, I'd never thrown a spoon before, and man, I have confidence in the spoon now, and I really want to try it down here in my home waters, because it crushed pike and bass while I was up there, like in this clip. Got one. Got it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't think so. Perfect. No, something decent though. I think it's probably a bass. Oh, it might be nice. It's a pike. Got one. Uh, 
got me in the slot. Got him. Yeah. He's not very big. Is he? I don't know. Could be. Oh, yeah, it's a nice bass. It's probably a two and a half, three pounder. There we go. That's the bite I was looking for. I know. He hit it hard. I had to know they're hitting the top water. Love me some top water. I was hoping. I was, that was good you did not see that, you know. I saw it. <laughs> I wasn't looking, but I heard, sure did hear him. I saw the whole hood. <laughs> you were looking down at something. You wouldn't have caught him if you saw it. No, I probably wouldn't have. You're right. I probably would have panicked and said it too early. On the final day, it got tough again. The wicked wind came back and the bite slowed back down. And we had to cut it short, so I was only able to fit two more fish in. But other than that, the entire trip was amazing. We caught so many fish. The weather was amazing, except for the wind. It, we didn't get rained on at all. And anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the rest of the video. We'll definitely be back next year. We'll look forward to it. There we go. Pike. Oh, it's a bass, actually. It's a nice bass. I thought you said it was a pike. Thought it was. Look at that hook set right there. Uh huh. It's funny how they all look the same spot. Man, I got a fish. Dad, I got a fish. Yeah. yeah. Start. All right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We caught a bunch of fish, like I said. The bite was rough all week. The wind had them turned off. Everything was washed out. It was kind of tough, but we still managed to not get skunked every day. It was still an amazing trip. And out here on this beautiful water, no humidity at all. Beautiful weather. Couldn't ask for any better except for the wind. But anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed. I'm a Korean ambassador. 100%, full scent, never quit. And we're learning about bass fishing, one fish at a time.